what's going on YouTube this is renegade number one um, for this video I want to talk about dealing with loneliness and depression um, as a male but before I get into the video I just want to show you my new MGTOW shirt pretty sure you can see it um, just I want to let you guys know MGTOW is it should be a way of life for you um, go out and buy some MGTOW shirts, wear it, live it, breathe it, drink it, whatever the case may be, but turn your outside into your, uh, turn your internal thoughts into your outside thoughts. But that's enough of that, but um, I want to get into the video. So, being MGTOW or living the MGTOW lifestyle, um, it's extremely tough. Um, I want to say when you know the truth on how life is, when you know the truth about how women operate, when you know the truth on how certain men operate, it's kind of hard to cope with the reality of it. And so typically people fear the truth because they know it will make them depressed. And I always say to myself, some of the most depressed people or some of the most intelligent people and um because they knew everything they knew that uh they seen society for what it was instead of what it sh uh what they felt like it should be they had an objective perception and so that's how MGTOW the MGTOW community is we see the truth for what female nature is and the female nature is that the part of the female nature that um a lot of men don't want to cope with is a woman doesn't love you for you that's unfortunate, but it's the truth. Um, she only likes you for what you can do for her. And um, the sad thing is, we've got a lot of men out here who are depressed. A lot of men out here who are lonely, who are killing themselves, committing suicide. Because they know that they'll really never find true happiness in a woman. They will never find that wife that will be there with them, actually. <clears throat> There isn't, there's nothing that's uh, genuine. You know, um, I just want to let you brothers know that if you feel lonely and if you feel depressed, it's very important for you to, you know, seek therapy from the MGTOW community. Continue watching MGTOW videos because without MGTOW, you will fall into a deeper, a deeper place of, a uh, deeper point of depression. Depression to me is one of the darkest things you can ever experience you know um i understand how it feels to go through uh long periods in your life where you feel like you're the only one i understand how it feels to go through long periods of your life where you feel like the people around you make you feel like you're crazy they make you feel like you're seeing things. They try to make you seem delusional. The fact that the matter is, you see the truth. And you choose not to conform to lies. You choose not to conform to this false reality that we call the real world. So, I understand. And you don't, you don't break. You may bend, but you don't ever break. And that's what we as MGTOW men try to convey in our messages, in our videos, especially myself. You know, it's all about being resilient. It's all about being um, strong, man. Never giving up and just persevering through it. You know, um, I'm just being honest in my videos and I just try to get my brothers to understand that it's hard out here. It is, it's hard out here being a male in this society, um, especially when society is more t favored towards uh, the women. It's unfortunate. And just, again, man, how, how do you deal with this, this stage of depression? How do you deal with being alone? Um, sometimes, you, you know, you have to seek that socialization. And when you're seeking that socialization, like I said in my previous videos, you gotta find 
what causes you, what makes you want to yearn for, you know, women or what causes you to yearn for social interaction? And you just got to find the root of it. You have to, if you do have social interaction, interact with your brothers, interact with your MGTOW brothers. Uh, again, the thing is with MGTOW, you're going to be rejected a lot. When you have the MGTOW ideology, you will experience a lot of rejection. You may experience some acceptance. The thing is, um, you do not want to desire a lot from people because when you desire a lot from people, you will ultimately be disappointed. You will ultimately deal with a lot of depression because people ultimately will let you down in the end. And that's what you know, I had to realize and I had to figure out. So, um, just be on your own, uh, continue to talk to your MGTOW brothers. And, um, again, this lifestyle, living alone and going your own way, being a man that's going the only way, um, it's a, it's considered to me a esoteric lifestyle, meaning that Few people can understand how we think. Few people can understand our ideology due to the fact that they're not intelligent enough or they refuse to see society. They can't process the uh they can't process it the way we can. So that's why MGTOW is an esoteric lifestyle. And with that being said, the majority of people in society will call us crazy. They will place the stigma of us being mentally unstable or you know delusional or butthurt we get these we get stigmatized as these people due to the fact that they can't understand it so to me when someone calls me crazy or calls me mentally ill i take it as a compliment because i know that they they are simplistic that they are simple that they are what i like to call the shit turd on the sidewalk and you just continue walking over them. You don't even acknowledge them because you can't even take them serious. So you just got to continue moving, continue uh, grinding out there. And that's pretty much it. That's all it is. So um, continue staying focused, continue not allowing people to make you more lonely than um, it actually is out here. And, um, Again, people will always try to trick you out of your position. Um, some other topics within depression. When you're depressed, don't hold it in because it even affects your physical health. You know, if you need to cry, you can do those things. If you need to, like I said, get on the phone and talk to somebody. You always got somebody to talk to. If you feel like you can't talk to someone at home, if you feel like you can't talk to your mother, your father, or whatever the case may be, your friends, you can always comment in my videos about what's going on in your life, and I'll answer those questions for you if you if you really feel comfortable. Um, but again, you're not alone. If you are watching this video and you feel alone, I just want to let you guys know you are not alone. Renegade number one does care about you. I may I don't have to know you. We all we as men we all relate. We all go through the same problems. You know, you got men out here killing themselves because uh they got cheated on. You got men killing themselves out here because they realize that the world won't change. They you got men out here killing themselves because you know that um hey, they're um this is a long shot for them. You know, some of them gave up. Some of them couldn't deal with the harsh realities of the world. Some of them were just done. They got screwed over too many times by women. Um, they realized the route that society was going. And just, they don't, they just, why put yourself through that? You know, um, you probably sitting at home, you probably going to work, you probably going to school, and you have this, this thought process of killing yourself or, 
you probably have, you know, um, the thought process of why am I alone so much? I hate being alone. And be honest, I, I don't, I don't like being alone all the time, but I know that's the price that I have to pay. So it's hard out here, but we got to keep moving. We got to keep fighting. And like I said, don't allow yourself to make a permanent decision for a temporary problem. Again, that, that's, that's suicide. Suicide is a permanent decision. And a temporary problem can be the girl that you're dealing with or whatever situation. Don't do that to yourself. Continue to fight. Continue to be strong as a man. Like I said, stay focused. And this is Renegade Number 1. Out.